hey guys welcome to another air magnus tutorial and today we'll take a quick look at how to install shigio on your computer and how to use shigio to convert your comic books and your stories with images to epub format for upload on sites that request your content in epub format so let's get to it you should check out this text format of the tutorial here the link is also on this page here converting books and comics to epub with sigil the written format which loads this page if you don't have time to watch the video you know so the first thing we're going to do is download Sigil. So I left a bunch of uh, links in this particular post on my blog. One of them is a link to download Sigil. So the version of Sigil I use is version 0.9.2, but there are later versions. There are later versions of Sigil here. At the time of this video, the latest version is version 0. 0.9.8 but I use version 0.9.2 because well there's actually no need for me to upgrade at the moment it works fine for me so if you'd like my version scroll down the page to download the one I use okay 0.9.2 this is here downloads for 64 bits or 32 bits and if you'd like the latest version of Sigil then download version 0.9.8 below here okay so let's just assume you have Sigil downloaded already on your computer and you've installed it uh, next thing you do is run it okay so this is Sigil this is what Sigil looks like once you've downloaded it uh, the doc is untitled because we've not saved it. These are the images I like to use for my story. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. There are 17 images here, so I have to create 17 pages to use. Okay, so I have 17 pages created. This is page one. The next thing to do is add the images. I'm going to double click on this images folder, click on the add existing files option, then locate where the uh, the images folder is on your computer. Then mark all, Control A, open. So I've added the images. That is why we have this drop down arrow here, 17 files. So before adding them, I named the images according to uh, their page number. So this is for page one and this is for page two, page three and so on. I already renamed them before importing them. Page one, page two and all. So these are the images. If I'd like to add an image to the first chapter, this this image, this is the image one. If I like to add it to the first chapter of my book, this is the first chapter, I'll simply click on insert file, then image OK. And to make our work look neat, I'm going to align this image to center by clicking here. Now it's aligned to center. It might look big. Just make sure the height is longer than the width. Forget the size. The size doesn't really, really matter. When users are reading it, it, it shrinks on mobile devices. That is how EPUBs work. EPUBs are not like PDFs that are rigid. EPUBs are uh, they are flexible. They are responsive. So if a user is reading this comic book, with a smaller screen they will get the same view the image will be shrunken uh, but it will look really really neat so if I would like to add text to this particular image 
before or after the image I can please double click here enter scroll up then add my text let's see I want to call this part chapter 1 this is for books with chapter titles comic books do not come with chapter 1 chapter 2 those chapter titles but for stories children's books and all it might have chapter titles make it a heading h2 then you can add our text here i'm going to copy a sample text and use so this is just a random text let's just assume there is a story here i'm going to delete this Control v paste so everything is aligned to center i'm going to mark left so this is my story let's shift this up a little so if i like to add contents after the image as well i can enter here click here then enter align left Control v again paste my text so it looks neat and this is our chapter one chapter two you can do the same add the image you imported already image two click on ok align the image to center click here enter add our text then just continue like that but if you're a comic book creator you don't need all these texts right so let's delete the texts comic books do not come with all these text the texts are all already on the images all right so uh i'm going to do the same thing for every other uh, page i'm going to add the images one by one to each page and once i'm done i'll show you what it looks like you should do the same as well if you're following this tutorial okay so this is what mine looks like page by page to the last page I added 18 pages because I added an extra page here to let users know that this book contains high quality images tap and hold on the images to zoom in press the back button once so to zoom out you don't need to add this but if you're uploading your comic book to Okada books you should add this so that users will know that they are reading a comic book and then they can double tap on the image to zoom in and press the back button to zoom out so that's why i add this instruction to every comic book that i convert so this is the comic book once done you can easily save by clicking on file save save it to somewhere on your computer desktop dot epub then save so once done simply locate the comic book on your computer in epub format and just upload to okada books you should check out this text format of the tutorial here the link is also on this page here converting books and comics to epub with sigil the written format which loads this page if you don't have time to watch the video you know so i've added a link to this page below the video on the description box for you to click on and you know access these pages